Welcome back to Prey. So I was going to deal with the doll situation, but a commenter suggested that I might be able to find the imposter cook who killed Abigail by going back to the computers in deep storage. So I went here, and I was thinking maybe there was like a track crew on one of these things. But I was poking around, didn't find that, but I did find... And the reason I'm not standing up is because there's uh, military operators down there. Uh, seems to be okay for now. I was poking around and I found a new email on Danielle Show's computer. Morgan, read me. Last, last thing, O2 almost gone. Imposter cook equals escape volunteer equals Luca Golubkin. Track him. Security camp and volunteer quarters. Neuromod div. Don't let him get away. I won't. Luca Golubkin. Volunteer quarters. Okay. I think I'm just going to make a run for it. Ah. Volunteer Quarters. I remember that. That's back in... Uh, I remember where it is. Like, visually I know where it is, but I don't remember how to get there. Neuromod Division, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's back in Neuromod Division. Okay, I think I know how to get there. Did my quest update with that information, by the way? Let's just get rid of that. Oh, yep. Does it tell me where to go? Command shuttle? No, it doesn't, but I know where it is. Alright, from here, let's go to the elevator. And go back to the lobby. Duh! Alright, entering Neuromod Division. What the hell? Alright. I'm just gonna hide here. I forgot how to get upstairs. I'm sure I could just jump now. Hopefully, yep, yeah, they're still distracted. Cool. No. Nope. Was it volunteer testing or volunteer quarters? Volunteer quarters wouldn't have a tracking computer, would it? I don't think so. Oh shit. New enemies. Oh, that's not gonna work against you. I should probably heal. Uh, I should probably repair my suit too. Guest. I think. Oh, maybe that was just combat music stuff. Why is this? Why is this say I'm searching glue canister three four two? What? It's a mimic. How's how's a glue canister three four two? <laughs> what? Perhaps it mimicked too hard. It became the thing it was mimicking. Keep a lookout for these, by the way, because I'm still missing one. Right, so, looking for a computer. Oh, hello. Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough day. Try to relax. There. All better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk.
I don't know why I keep researching places I've already been. Sometimes I find something that I forgot, but like, it's not really, it's really not that important. So, broken, broken. That's an exit. Was it volunteer quarters? Oh, wait. No. Christ, maybe it was volunteer quarters. I thought it didn't say. Volunteer quarters. Sounds like a strange place for a security computer. Anyway, I'm glad I went here. There's new enemies. I explore these areas well for the smuggling points, so that's why I'm kind of extra suspicious. Aha! So, Neuromon Division... Um... Oh, right. The uh, volunteers don't have names, so... Objectives. 01065537. I'm not gonna remember that. Zero one zero six five five. Zero one zero six five five three seven. Oh, well, I mean, they're the only one alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're on the bridge. I've already been to the bridge. I'm sure, though, it's probably set up so that if you don't track them, they're not there. I'm sure you have to do that to complete the quest. Okay. Let's get back to the bridge. Gotta go. Just gonna take the elevator from the lobby to the Arboretum and then to the bridge. Alright, you little fucker. I'm coming. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Hiding in a shuttle, are you? Mm. Hello there. I will dice. <laughs> Morgan, you. <coughs> We are over now. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your materials. Dang, I wanted the satisfaction of killing them myself. I mean... I could. <laughs> Let's just see if it plays out differently. What if I just give him a little zap? Just a little... Your balls flew everywhere. Can't even get them all. I <laughs> feel the locate, locate crew member. Alright. Well, that was satisfying. Like, shouldn't I go back to Danielle, though? The quest is done, so there's just nothing more to do for that, but what if I go back to that window in the rec center in crew quarters and just knock on the window? 
Think Danielle will come back? Nope, she doesn't come back. I'm kind of scared to check her life signs at one of those tracking computers. I wonder if she's run out of oxygen. Alright, entering the shuttle bay now to find Dahl, the space pirate. Damn, made short work of that. I hear a voltaic. Just, just gonna sneak over here. Oh, so this answers what uh, the, the purpose of deploying this thing was. I guess... So it's obviously to get into the the shuttle, but I wonder, would it have been deployed automatically for them to get out of the shuttle? Or would I still have to deploy it if I hadn't deployed it already? Okay, they found me. What are they shooting at? Okay, how about this? It's only got a sliver of health left, though. Recluse to his tech officer's location, so there's no one on board. Just gonna close that. parameters for immediate dispatch transfer security clearance alpha sigma required for access commander doll this is william yu acting chairman of the trans star board of directors i will need your credentials to authorize this mission of course my authentication sign is zeta invictus emperor tangerine sign checks out good morning director yu shuttle is hot and holding orbit Awaiting mission parameters. You must secure every piece of Cobalt Clearance Level technology and research aboard Talos-1. Then eliminate all Transtar personnel. All personnel? No survivors. It's your show. And their funeral. Payment will be deposited into six separate Benelux accounts. After you transmit evidence of success. I leave my operator feeds on. Just keep watching. We strongly advise deploying your technical officer to a station router inside the firewalls first. Ideal location would be the station exterior, near the power plant grids. Yes, I've seen the schematics, Mr. Yu. Goodbye. You will destroy this transmission after- Hiding somewhere on the exterior near the power plant, alright. 
Kamazot for Commander Walter Dahl. Message copy all known points of contact. Initiate Kamazot's protocol. Wills up an orbital inside the hour. Mission orders will be transmitted in route. Can't hack it. Make it a break for it. Microgravity detected. Holy crap. They're even outside. I'm told my ops are hidden as an HR expense in the Transstar books. It's true. I do solve people problems. Your workmates hiding in the cargo bay are going to suffocate in a few minutes. Fuck. Maybe you can save them. But you'll have to come out of the walls, Rat. Life support. The clock is ticking. Son of a... Morgan. Dal's cut off oxygen to the cargo bay. There's nothing I can do from here, and none of the doors are responding. Atmosphere controls are in life support. If you can help, do it quick. Or this is the last time we'll be talking. Alright, maybe I can deal with the tech officer real quick. Let's try it. I'm going to make a save. Ms. Elazar is right to be alarmed. Though her assessment is mistaken, Dahl is manipulating the oxygen and nitrogen mixture. With nitrogen flooding into the atmosphere, anyone in the cargo bay will asphyxiate far more quickly than had he simply cut the oxygen. I suspect they'd already be dead if Dahl weren't trying to use them to manipulate you. Hmm. Are they inside the hole breach? This is definitely not the way. Oh wait, there's some doors. This is interesting. I'd love to just explore this in depth, but uh, don't really have time. You family, all right, cool. Nice, neat, let's go. Beam self fabrication plan, cool. Banana, that's a real important part. Will and Kathy use place. Huh. Oh, these are executive suites. Oh Christ, there's two more. This is too fascinating. I'm sorry, you're all gonna suffocate. Corrupted science operator. I'm not gonna waste time killing it. Oh, it just exploded. Too far, too fast, too... probably read that.
chip set of some sort. Alright. They're buried somewhere kind of deep. Which is, I guess, what you'd expect. They don't want to be out in plain sight. Awfully close. Ah. Oh, apparently it actually does damage to them. I didn't even realize that. There's Casper. Doors are working again, Morgan. Nice work. I'm taking what's left of my crew to the atmosphere controls in life support. We're going to clear out Dal's shit can operators and make sure there are no more mishaps with the air on this station. Good. Dal populated his entire crew with customized operators. He made the mistake of hanging his hopes in a machine. Flesh and blood is messy, Morgan, but it's the only thing that matters in the end. Well done. The upload just kicked in. Meet me in the operator. We have important work to do. Ah! Ah! Uh oh, open fast. So the operators dealt with no, <laughs> not all of them. So I'm going to take this opportunity to repair my suit. Morgan, Dahl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit. Am I supposed to be worried about Alex? Like I care about him? So it's still just the one quest. Subdue doll without killing him. Alright. Wait, so where are they? Wait, just because they're in the Arboretum? But where? I'm gonna head up and just see if I can see anything. Where's Dahl supposed to be here? Ooh, Dwarf Red Cosmos. I don't see anyone. Check the greenhouse. failed? Where's Alex's bunker? What the hell was I supposed to do? I 
I still don't understand. Uh, still don't understand even after reading this. Should I just start killing the military operators? Ah! I'll hack this one. It's got decent health. Zap him, my friend. Get him. Please turn. Okay, apparently I failed to protect Alex from Dahl. Yo, gather report. Cover the No show. I hear them talking somewhere. Your brother had some presents he wanted to give. I'm so confused. Hopefully, this is from before I failed anything. This from before I failed anything. I think it is. Okay, good. Repair the suit again. Morgan. Okay, blah blah blah. Carl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit. So it was around here that I heard something. Oh, hey! Watch out! Oh, that's the secret place? Because I went, I went into this place before and there was nobody in here. It's just this little weird side entrance. Ah, Dal's cargo hold. Can finally see what's in there. Probably good stuff. Can you... I wonder if I could fail the quest by shooting his body. I'm just curious. Without Dahl, we have no chance of getting off this. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to check. But um, there's nothing wrong with just giving him a little whack, right? Hey, Alex. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message and who is listening to it. I think you know, 
Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the null wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, I got pro. What? Morgan! I think the signal's been received. Well... You'll need to get down to the nearest cliff. Once that's done, I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. <laughs> Alex is unconscious. Come with me. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous flopping all over the place. Okay, isn't he gonna suffocate from not being able to breathe? He doesn't have a suit on, so... Yeah, I need him to the safety of his bunker before he runs out of air. Uh, while I'm here, I guess I need to close the door. Right? Is that it? I mean, there's still no air here, right? I'm confused. Do I need to do anything else? Get him to the safety of his bunker before he runs out of air. I'm in the bunker. Get Dahl safely to the medical bay. Oh shit, isn't his body out there? Oh. Oh god. Ugh. Ah. Okay. the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. Cherished family photo. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my sister succumb to pessimism. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. What the hell? He recorded what he just ended up saying? What, was he rehearsing it? The Carl is broadcasting the neural Because that's what he just said to me. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype null wave device you can see. Make one, then place it in the heart of the Carl. We will hijack the Carl's signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to 
every Typhon organism at points. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret... I won't be at your sight to see it happen. An account of Fermi's question. I feel like I've read this. Mm. Yeah. voice is obviously familiar. Probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never-ending. Setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods, the risk is substantial. But if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. So, I'm putting myself in the sim. I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If, when, they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talus 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So, you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do. I do? So wait, the backup plan was October, but the person that's been talking to me is January. And then December is the one that wants me to escape? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> And I still don't know how there is supposedly air in here? So, uh... Let's actually take a look at this. Project Cobalt's the backup. Morgan doesn't know. Heart of Coral in Kletka. Kletka, wasn't that, was that the, um, the satellite that, the Soviet satellite that, um, is where we first saw the, the first instance of the Mimics, the Typhon? Alright, looks like that's about it. So yeah, it sounds like, rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So it sounds like blowing everything up is not what Morgan wanted to be done. Oh, and it looks like we have reached endgame because the fine Josh Dalton quest is gone. Get Dahl safely to the medical bay. Alright, should I just go out and try? I mean, this thing's kind of out here. Oh god, come back. No! <laughs> I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. Uh-oh. I kind of need to close this or Alex is going to die. No. Oh, well, apparently I saved Alex. All right. I guess I just needed to not be in there with him. So, medical bay. Morgan. Thank you for what you did. You could have left me to die. It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the null wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Oh, 
through. Wait, where was this thing to go? To the med bay? What the hell? What's there? What's the med bay? There's no specific room called a med bay. Oh, just this one specific med bay. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait for further instructions from Dr. Igwe. I'm not getting any instructions though. Igwe? Does Doll have air here? Uh, bye. I guess I'm done. Is there a fabricator in here? Because I need to fabricate an arming key. Don't know where the nearest fabricator is. Gonna repair my suit again. Just go here. Let's see if the lobby's better. Or is the whole ship no gravity? Probably the whole ship. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station. Just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But... Didn't you hear him? The null wave. Alex is correct. It could work. And preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this. To murder a species. And the research... Lost. It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe, we have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can. Okay, Neuromod Division, gotcha. Oh, right, because that's where we need to go to remove the neuromods. Oof, look at all this coral. Oh, man. Not sure I want to leave just yet. It's kind of cozy in here. <laughs> oh, Christ, I can't quick save in the elevator. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, but I just want to comment on a couple things. I love this game, but um, I have to admit this last little bit, everything after uh, doing the whole doll thing has been really, just like a really strange and confusing sequence of events where it's like, wait, what do you want me to do? 
like save Alex and then I grab his body and it's just like you know ridiculous zero G physics I feel like I'm playing Gary's mod and I just like flop his body into his room and it's like wait is there really air in here and then I'm like inside and I close the door and the quest doesn't update to say that I've saved him so I'm like what how is he not saved but then the quest updates when I close the door behind me from the outside and then with Doll's body, you just flop him into the medical bay. And then you also have to leave him. And then the quest updates to say that he's, like, saved. And it's just really weird. It looks like they are going absolutely out of their way to avoid showing anybody alive or interacting. Like, rather than having Alex wake up inside of his room, it seems like they didn't want to do that. So that's why they have you leave before the quest updates. And then he, like, instantly wakes up and calls you over the transcribe. I don't know, it's just weird. It feels really weird. It feels very disjointed and strange. But anyway, so hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go to the Neuromod division, and we're going to pull the Neuromods out of Dahl, the space pirate, and see if he's still a space pirate five or ten years ago, or however, however long it's been since they had the Neuromods installed. Who knows? Maybe he'll turn into just, like, an average guy. <laughs>